fellow Diamond Painting Addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today to unbox some goodies that I got from the folks over at FG Normal. I'm super excited about both of these canvases, this one in particular, so I'm going to save that one for last because it's kind of big, and yeah, I'm probably not going to fit it all on the camera, but we'll see how it goes. So this one, you guys, I just thought this one was so cute. Not a typical kit that I would purchase, but I saw this one and I was like, aw. So let me, if I can get it out of here. It always sticks to the, there we go. Okay. So, ooh, the canvas is nice and thin so I can roll it. Love that. Love it when they're nice and thin and I can roll them up tight like this just helps them relax a little bit faster. Okay, so not my favorite that the drills are in these little bags, but I'll deal. At least it's printed in black. That's better for me. Standard toolkit, boat plate of wax, pink pen. And then, oh, look at this cute little guy. I just thought he was super cute. He's so fat and sassy and I love it. So, you know, could be a little wintry picture. He's kind of in the snow and you know, there's like, holly leaves down here and he's on a log but I just thought this would be good for any time and yeah he's cute I just love him he's so sassy okay so this is a 30 by 40 it is 23 by 32 and a half so maybe 33 23 by 33 We've got 21 colors we do have a schematic on both sides and we do have our DMC code so that's awesome and it is nice and sticky now there is some white here underneath him and then of course down here where it's snow but it is the eye symbol that's easy to cover up there's also some here on him so a nice mix for me of some color blocking here and then lots of confetti everywhere else there's some color blocking here in the shadows on his feathers yeah, I just thought he was so super cute. I don't see anything that looks like it's gonna give me issues as far as symbols go. It doesn't look like anything weird is next to each other, so I'm gonna have trouble keeping them apart, so that's good. All right, let's get in our drills and see what we got here. So excited about both these kits. I just love this one because I thought, like again, he was just such a sassy little looking bird. Okay, so we've got some like sky blue. We've got a light tan. We've got some white, of course, for the snow. We've got like a very pale mauve. We've got some blue, light blue for the sky, some like pale peach that I'm probably on his little belly here. We've got like a, this is a light blue, but it's got a little turquoise in it. Some dark red, kind of a darkish red mauve color. And then we've got some pink, some kind of caramel brown, ooh, some orange, some like mint green, like a very pale mocha latte color maybe. What do I know? I don't drink lattes. A gray, uh, that's almost like a coral color. A mauve, like a slate blue, a gray, ooh, pretty vibrant green there. And then this is a dark brown and then this light brown color. So yeah, lots of colors. Like I said, 21 colors, but he's just so cute. I can't wait to see what this one looks like when he's finished. Okay, and this one was $6.10. Now, let's get to the fun one, you guys. I'm always excited to see kits like this um, at the budget companies. Now, this one was a little more expensive than what I usually get, but it's much larger than what I usually get. 
and I was so excited and you'll see why when I unroll it. Okay, so it's big. This kit is 40 by 100. And before you say to yourself, oh my gosh, she's crazy. One, we already knew that. And two, you'll see why. Okay, so the canvas is nice and easy to roll up. It's thin but sturdy, so that's good. Okay, again, not my favorite thing that the drills come in these little teeny bags, but look at these colors, the yellows and the coral and the browns and the peach. Oh, mm. okay. Standard toolkit, boat, plate of wax, pink pin. Now I will say as big as this kit is, I would have expected maybe a couple of plates of wax at least, maybe pens or maybe even a pen with a multi-placer. But most of us have all that stuff anyway, so it's all good. Now, I'm not going to get all of this on screen, so I'm just gonna show you the top part and then I will shove a picture over there so you guys can see what it looks like. Wow, okay, that, this is, a Moe and Shandon ad by Muka. And this was um, an advertisement around $18.99, I believe. So it's public domain. And you guys, it's just, it's so pretty. It's this lovely little girl, this girl, woman standing here. You've got, of course, that typical Art Nouveau, you know, behind her, you've got this um, framing and then as you pull up, you've got her standing in that, you know, just typical um, Art Nouveau Mooka pose, kind of one hip cocked out, the very flowy, drapey dress, and then all the way at the bottom where you get some more of the, um, you know, things that have to do with the ad and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you wanted to make it shorter, you could end it right here and just cut off that. I might do that just to make it a little bit shorter. I mean, that's a lot of multi-placing right there that I probably wouldn't need to do if I didn't want to have that in there. But her gorgeous, the colors, the fall colors of this gown, I just love. I, I was so excited. Now I will say their little thumbnail here, they've kind of, it's all, what's the word I'm looking for? It's all compressed, so it looks weird. So it's all skewed is not there it's distorted that's the word i'm looking for it's distorted but i will stick a picture over there of the original artwork and just oh her face love it okay so i'm gonna put my scissors up here well that's not enough let me see i gotta find something i can put up here on her so that she doesn't go sliding off while i'm trying to open all of these drills okay i think that's gonna hold it okay guys she's Okay, so again, this one is 40 by 100. Oh, I guess I could measure it. Let me do that really quick. So 40 by 100 is what it's sold at. It is 32, and I'll measure the lengthwise here in a minute after we look at drills and do all the other things, because I'm so excited I've gotten all out of order, haven't I? So we do have a schematic, 30 colors. We do get the DMC codes. There is a schematic at the on this side at the bottom, but it's so long you can't see it, but it is there, I promise. And it is nice and sticky. Now, I will say this here is white. It's a slant, or I guess an italicized eye, however you wanna look at it. So at least, you know, should be easy to cover up with your white drills. Yeah. Oh, you guys love these colors. Okay, so let's see what we get here. There's like a slate blue, a dark purple, a very dark blue, a light gray, kind of this greenish yellow. So I'm assuming it matches the color of her dress there. Okay, and then let's see what do we get. We get like this orange color, we get this brown, it's like a, just a light brown color. We get, is this black? I don't think that's black. See you guys, this is why, oh, it's 3371. So dark brown, and then we get like an orangish peach color. We get 
kind of a mustardy brown color. Here's a dark brown. And then we get kind of that coral color. There's a very dark like hunter green, a dark brown, an orange. And then we get, of course, lots of yellow. There's a very pale brown or tan, I guess. Here's all of our white. We lay that off to the side. And we've got another shade of orange. We've got a slightly darker shade of yellow. We've got some dark red, some gray. Some, oh, those are two different colors. There's like a light gray, and then this is like a sage green. And then we get a very light yellow. We get this kind of olive green. Then we get two shades of gray, a light gray and a dark gray. We get a very light brown, and then this kind of orangish brown color. You guys, oh, this is gonna be mm, chef's kiss when it's done. Now, I will say, obviously for Mukas, as I've seen before, you know, you guys have seen me do um, some of his work from other companies. It needs to be pretty big to be detailed enough to make these look good. Is the 40 by 100 going to be big enough? I think so. Um, I think once you get far away, and I apologize for all this crinkling, I'm trying to get these all back in here. I think once you get far enough away, you won't be able to tell, um, you know, maybe where some of it is a little bit pixelated compared to maybe where you want to, what you see in some of the bigger ones. However, I know that some of the bigger ones are not always economically feasible for people because of the price. And, you know, like I said, this one, it's a little pricey. It's $20 and 78 cents. And I'll stick links for both this and the bird down below so that you guys can find them. Look at all those drills. Whew. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this closed. Let's see if I can get them all in there. Okay. There we go. Not as neat a job as it came in, but they're all back in there. Okay, so again, is 40 by 100 big enough? I think it will still look nice. Is it gonna be as detailed as something that's, you know, 70 by 150? No, of course it isn't because it's, this is going to be more pixelated because it's a smaller size, but I think it is large enough that it will look good and it's at a budget price so that, you know, more people can hopefully afford it and it's public domain art. So win-win all around in my book. I can't wait to see what this one looks like. I have no idea when I would be able to get to this one. I have lots of stuff planned for this year, but we'll see. But I, I thought I was really excited to see it. Um, again, you know, just thought it was a nice option for a lot of people who might be looking for something like this. So again, I will put links in the description box down below so that you guys can check these out for yourself. And, oh yeah, I forgot to measure it again. I will measure it and I'll put the, the other measure down here. It's sold as a 40 by 100 and it was, what did I say, 30 something across and I'll measure down and then I'll stick that right there so you guys can see what the measurements were. 30 colors, but yeah, super pleased with how this one looks. Um, lots of different symbols and things. You know, there may be some issues that you need to use a light pad with and whatnot, but I'm willing to forg forgive a lot of that just because it's such a cool image. Okay, so we've got our Mooka here, which was $20.78. And then we've got our sassy little bird, can't forget him, uh, which was $6.10. Hi guys, just uh, future me interrupting here. I guess present me while you're watching this. But anyway, I just wanted to show you, I finished the little sassy bird. So. Here he is, isn't he cute? Now, this is one that I took to Canada. So my first whip and chat in Canada, I finished this in there, or up there, I guess. And 
I think he turned out really cute. The symbols were nice and clear. It was a lot of fun working on it. My only complaint is my drill placement is not great because I didn't have my straightener and so it's a little wonkier than I would like in places. But it's cute. It turned out really well. I'm happy to add it to my portfolio. So he's done and he's so just so cute little fat and sassy little bird and yeah so I just thought I'd show you what it looked like now that he was done and back to the end of the video so that's it for me today guys before you leave don't forget to do all the things if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads and as always guys thanks so much for watching